All right, hello and welcome to a, or my Code Geass R2 episode 18 review. <clears throat> I had a couple different naming ideas, but I didn't want it to be too spoilery. So, um, quite simply, massive, massive spoilers if you haven't seen it. I'm going to give a, um, a bunch of different little speculation and ideas, I guess. <clears throat> I've got my notes, and before I jump into the next episode, I definitely want to crank out this review. I don't usually do a review for every episode or anything like that, so it takes quite a bit of meat and potatoes to get me to want to do a review, and I think we've finally arrived at that point where we have enough meat and potatoes where I can ramble for a couple minutes. So, let us get into this. So I think I'm going to call the video, Is This Checkmate? Um, my other ideas were a bit more spoilery. Um, my latest idea was Prepare for Fury or, uh, you know, something about Lelouch, um, Revenge of Lelouch or something. But that wouldn't have been proper, so I had my original ideas were uh, like an ideal death or um, death of an ideal. I, I try and stick it to three, three words, just out of finickiness <clears throat> and pattern. But, you know, I thought that would be too spoilery. But anyhow, anyhow, let us get into this. The meat and potatoes, the biggest meat and potatoes of the series. Um... With how things were presented, I believe that um, one weapon thing was called Flea. Disintegrates everything in range. You know. Nunnally was supposedly within range from what they wanted to communicate to us. <clears throat> and we know Lelouch's ideal, the core pillar, was Nunnally. Heck, we don't we didn't even know if Nunnally knew it was well wait. I don't know, there might have been something, but we don't know if he she uh she approves she probably doesn't approve of Lelouch's route so and it you know if she knew it was him or not um, who knows if she would still approve or disprove of the route he's taking with things that would be an interesting exchange but but anyhow with how they presented things none of Lee got taken out with that flea super super weapon um, and Suzaku was the one who activated it. He was very, very hesitant. Nina wanted him to use it so that um, Lelouch would get killed off. Revenge for Yuffie. <clears throat> but, yeah, just, they presented it. Nunnally is supposedly dead. Now the thing is, uh, my notes are in a shamble because I'm jumping to and fro, but, you know, in media, I, I'm, I'm hesitant, I'm very hesitant to believe that she's really dead. <clears throat> because in media, there's the basic media test. If, if you don't see them gone, then it's, there's, Still that chance so I'm on the fence I'm on the fence I'm on the fence and I'd like to believe she's not and the thing is whether she is or isn't things could go two very very separate routes um, <clears throat> you know either a she's alive or B she's dead and we were led to believe the latter. Now, um, I'm jumping all over in my notes, this is bad, but 
<clears throat> it appeared. I was a bit confused, but it appeared. Suzaku. There was still a remnant of the Gias still affecting him. That he somehow, you know, activated the Flea. Maybe for him himself to survive from maybe Colin. I don't know. I forget already, but... Um, and Lelouch ordered him to live with that Gias thing before, or whatever the case. He actually used the Gias on him twice, I think. One at the island, and then later to live, for himself to live after all the whatever stuff, his reputation. But, <clears throat> but, you know, there are so many things, so many different reactions Lelouch could respond with, depending on A or B, the A or B route, either she's alive or dead, so maybe the AD route, but, um, you know, I love how they did the scene near the end after the Flea disintegrates a whole area, which Nunnally was supposedly within range. <clears throat> she was the most vulnerable character, but anyhow, we, we see, we hear that Rolo is still alive, and Rolo... The, that little piece of work, he, I was very terrified because he is actually on the mission, was on the mission, to kill off Nunnally. The opposite of what Lelouch would want. <clears throat> so there's a whole another layer to it. There's a whole another onion layer to it. Was Rolo saying that she was dead because she's dead? Or was Rolo saying she's dead because she's not dead, but he'll take care of her? Um, it could be one or the other. So there's that onion layer to it, that kind of unknown to it. Or, or did he did he kill her after you know her being out of range, and now he's reporting that you know the Flea killed her? That would be the perfect excuse. That covers up what he did and if Lelouch knew that Rolo did something Lelouch as is was gonna throw Rolo away as a complete pawn Rolo if you did anything if you laid a finger on Nunnally I'm very afraid for him <clears throat> because Lelouch, his wrath, his fury, I think he'd come unglued, unhinged. I think he really would. The thing is, his ideal world, form this new, better world for Nunnally to live in. You know, people have been sacrificed. His potential romance with Shirley, Shirley got killed off by Rolo, because Rolo became aware she knew who he was so he saw that as a threat took her out that was bad <clears throat> but you know I, and we even have Charles Charles himself which there's interesting speculation there you know does he have one Gias or does he have two Gias you know does he have even another backup card and why would he himself be coming to the battlefield? Why would the king enter the battlefield if he didn't have to? Another, another onion layer to that is he wasn't there when it began. And yet he's on the way very close. 
Um, so, so that implies some sort of intent. Maybe he wants the thrill of facing off with Lelouch. Maybe he wants the thrill and excitement of trying to get the best of Lelouch. Maybe that. I don't know. <clears throat> but if Nanali's alive, then there's still the Rolo risk, which I think Rolo could just so easily, even without the Gios. But, you know, like if Lelouch saw Rolo take her out, oh my goodness. Rolo, 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 you are toast. You are so toast. But, you know, I I'm jumping all over the place, even with the notes. But yeah, the, the you know, the him, you know, cut eyes being covered and him being like after the flea Rolo let me talk to Nunnally and this is all blackened out that there's that is some heaviness right there we don't know how he's feeling although we might know to a degree with what he was told you know let me talk to Nunnally. Rolo saying, she's dead. What are you saying? Let me talk to her. That kind of realization. You know, that's why I was pondering. An ideal death. Kind of a subtle hint, and yet not, but it kind of too spoilery, so or death of an ideal. <clears throat> Prepare for fury, is this checkmate? Um, we're at a very, very interesting point. No doubt. And I don't have very much notes left, but nonetheless, Charles is coming, Lelouch, is probably under the most burden and stress right now. Rolo, absolute garbage, traitorous, uh, secret stance against Lelouch. Suzaku, I don't even know if he's alive because of the flea or whatever it was called, the weapon that disintegrated a whole zone. You saw the light coming towards Nunnally. Didn't see it hit her, but... Aye, aye, aye. They presented it as though... She did, and yet there's a chance she didn't. Um, they want us to believe she is, anyhow. So... You know, in my opinion... I don't know, Ew. you know, where, you know, in, with the writing, how would they utilize that if she were really dead and if she was not dead? I'm, I'm thinking there's more meat and potatoes with leading us to believe she's dead, but she's not really dead. And then Charles can use her as the, the final thing against Lelouch or something like that. But this is, without a doubt, the biggest, the, the ultimate test for Lelouch with what's going on. The, the biggest final battle going on and something like that. His ideal, but from his perception, his ideal is dead. His ideal world is no longer. <clears throat> and that leads me to believe that if it's still if it if it goes that route or if it still makes us believe that route and if it's really not the case 
I think we're going to see, you know, possibly a new side of Lelouch more so, similar to Suzaku, th him thinking Suzaku, Suzaku betrayed him. More so like that, more so like that, just hold nothing back, just absolute fury, possibly revenge. Um, I can see some possible friendly fire, at like Rolo. Rolo's purpose was Nunnally, and then he would have he would be thrown away. Now that Nunnally's supposedly dead, Rolo, um, Lelouch can take it out on Rolo. So he's he's not. I don't think Rolo's gonna make it. It's still interesting that Charles is on the way, <clears throat> but we're, I, I think we're going to see, and my voice is totally wrecked from visual novel work on my gaming channel, Steins Gate, um, Steins Gate Visual Novels, uh, channel gaming guy for you, shameless plug. <clears throat> but anyhow, um, I think we're going to see some friendly fire. And that's really, really bad in this kind of final battle, everything at stake moment, the whole world at stake. Um, you know, his, the, he's just got a remnant left of that ideal, just a remnant. And is that worth pursuing anymore? You know, but yeah, anyhow, in, in media, there's the, you know, the body scent. The, the, the body tennis. If you don't see the character actually dead, sometimes even if you do see them dead, they're not dead. But um, I think I think it would be... I, I, I hope she's not, I guess, because I would hope... I kind of wanted her to be used for, you know, like a final purpose against Lelouch with Charles. I, I think I, I, I would have hoped Charles would have kept her as his trump card, you know, and Lelouch's priority was to protect Nunnally, and he couldn't protect her from that. He couldn't stop Shirley's death. So even though he has power, he has seemingly little power. Um, you know, is this is this Nunnally thing going to really get to him? I think it will. I think it will. Ay ay ay, with with him. You know, seeing the eyes, just seeing the hair over the eyes, darkened out. Rolo, let me talk to Nunnally. What do you mean? Let me talk to her. You know, he's not gonna want to believe it. Uh, and it like. The, 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 the Flea thing, it like disintegrated everything. So there's like no evidence. Even if she is, there's no evidence. No visible evidence. <clears throat> I hold to the position that she's not... I think it would... Uh, I think it would kind of be interesting either way now that I think about it, but more so. If she did, then we can see the whole other side of Lelouch. If she's not, and can still be used against with Charles against Lelouch, I think that would be an interesting route as well. Uh, so we're going to just have to see where it goes. But I wanted to do this prior to jumping into episode 19 and 20. So, so I hope this was worthwhile speculation. I like to speculate if there's enough meat and potatoes, and there certainly were enough elements with all this uh, prior to episode 19. So... Anyhow, 19 minute mark. I'm out of meat and potatoes. But at least we got Callan back. Colin. Um, she's in an awesome mecha. Wrecked havoc. Saved a Lelouch. <clears throat> she had escaped. Or was let out by part of Rolo's team group. But Rolo, man, oh man, you, if, if, if none of these alive, Rolo, you stay the heck away from her. You stay the heck away from her. 
what would be like the worst thing would be if you know Nunnally wasn't just like I mean with the the flare the disintegration I I don't know what kind of death that would be it probably would have been not great and yet better than some deaths one could have I suppose so I don't know I just I don't know I think I think there would be a lot more weight possibly if she wasn't instantly killed off but rather if like Rolo <clears throat> like absolutely tortured her to death or something like that even though he's not like that I think something like that would hold a lot more weight than just something disintegrating her I think I don't know I don't know but anyhow 21 minute mark we're, we're just rambling so anyhow I don't know what to expect but we'll find out is this checkmate is the question is this checkmate or does Lush still have something worth fighting for with his ideal how much is left what remnant is left of his ideal is this checkmate nunnally dying is this checkmate anyhow thank you very much for watching i will see you up ahead take her cool